What's up YouTube, it's Matwick here. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how to um, create or customize your icons on your Mac, so change them. Uh, so this is the third video of my how to customize your Mac on Snow Leopard. Uh, so basically how to change those. Um, and the, the simple way to to uh, do this is just by clicking on one and then getting info. So right click and get info and just paste it here. But that's for one individual folder. So you probably... Um, don't want to do that if you want to do it on lots so I'm going to show you how to do like a whole thing in once and you don't need to change them one by one so uh, basically there are two main apps for this well m one main app actually which is candy bar I already talked about that in previous videos um, candy bar is really an insane application uh, unfortunately it is paid but it's really worth it uh, honestly and you can change your system icons here uh, your all your application icons uh, your dock uh, part by part and then as well the, um, the volume icons are really insane so you can see generic and then the desktop site system here you got empty trash full trash your finder your dashboard sidebar icons when you open up your finder and then your device icons uh, CD clipping icons location icons and badges so when it's a shortcut or drop private read only so yeah um, Basically, Candy Bar is the main thing, uh, though it is paid, so that's why I also have another application here, Light Icon. So definitely go check that out as well. Link will be in the description. It is free. Uh, you can just drag and drop them as well. Uh, that can be quite often, but it's totally, well, way less options than Candy Bar. This is really extremely simple, and you cannot customize it as much as Candy Bar, because uh, in Candy Bar, you can draw, drag and drop on each, really. And, and you can really change them one by one if you want and as well you can choose on use these icons and it's just gonna use the whole pack and put them on it really cool so um, second of all I want to show you where to get all the, the icons so I'll start with uh, my favorites well I start with the th uh, the my pref my the ones I prefer the most basically so the one I used in my videos and I really think which are high quality and very very good so basically the first one is Jonas Rask Design it's a guy who is in retirement already I think and he makes really great quality and high definition icons here so for each individual app but also packs for the whole system uh, he just released some new ones which is the prior front head these are the new ones he just released and basically you can see these are 86 icons and three variants uh, so 86 times 3 and 195 icons here so these are the old ones he made them too were also awesome I also used those so um, this is the first website I want to show you guys so really awesome then you got interface lift which is not really my favorite but a lot of people put them on here and you can really uh, find things app or app but some of them are not quite high quality um, which I think <coughs> sorry so then you got DeviantArt. Well, DeviantArt is a website for a lot of art, not only for icons, for everything which is related to art. <coughs> Whoa, sorry. Uh, everything which is related to art, but you also find icons, and I really want to point those out. High Tech Rave Up, I'll put a link in the description as well. Uh, really insane icons, really good, and as well in high definition, which I always like, uh, as long as they are uh, have 520, I mean... 512 pixel version they're very high quality so uh, that's really cool so you want to definitely check those sites out oh yeah there's also icon drawer they got paid icons which I don't really like I mean they should be free uh, whatever and there's one last well I'll, I'll talk about that website a little more later on another video because it's really not only for icons but this it's a farm actually and basically they post a huge amount of things a day I mean look from here they started today and it's only 2.53 p.m. and they already posted all this in one day and they post everything mods, wallpapers, themes, icons, uh, HEDs, other stuff, mods, yeah, sites, everything really insane and one more I want to show you is 50, 57 or whatever uh, just a quick one here. So really make insane icons. These are the ones who make, I think, the Mustikans icon. Maybe you already know them. They really make great icons as well. And themes and mods as well. So you can see that they made the Mustikans here. Which which uh, became quite famous. 
So here you can see that they have the candy bar version, which is basically the eye container, which I'll talk to you about a little later. So basically, once you have, uh, you find finally your your icons you want, you basically want to download them for Mac. You can also download them for if there's no choice between Mac and Windows, just download them, uh, and then go to, uh, yeah, just they will most often be in the zip folder, and then just extract that, and you'll find a folder. So I'm just gonna ch take the Pry. Uh, Frente Mac. So basically, uh, if they're made specially for Mac, you're gonna have uh, eye containers. Eye containers look like oh crap. Well, eye containers look like um, they're not supposed to get open with with this because you can open uh, eye containers with light icon, but eye containers are actually made for candy bar. So basically, it's super easy to um, let me just change this because it's not supposed to do this. Anyways. Can bar always okay. So yeah, there you go. So I I containers are supposed to look like this one. You have candy bar. So basically, they're red. Uh, basically, a little container, and you can see your icons in there. Uh, and you can also see a preview if it loads. Right now, it's on an external hard drive, so that's why it takes a while. But anyways, once you have the i containers, it's super easy to get those. You can just double click, and it will automatically make a, a folder for you. So I just made everything double here not so smart but you get what I mean so basically it will automatically make uh, organization for you automatically everything it's gonna change so it's gonna have its own background and you're gonna see by who it's made and how they're called super easy really uh, really easy with uh, uh, candy bar so you can open this eye containers with uh, light icon or candy bar uh, they're originally made for a candy bar and then you basically got um, probably the PNGs or the icons file ICO uh, format so most probably for Windows it's gonna be PNG so these you can also use them just select them all and drag and then let me get to my space here oh yeah drag and drop them right here and you'll get them super easy so yeah uh, I'm just gonna cancel this I guess yeah Okay, so that's uh, as well. You can do that as well, and then you can just drag and drop your icons, uh, really easy. So that's basically it, guys. Uh, changing the icons itself shouldn't be that difficult. Just drag and drop uh, to there, or in light icon, it's exactly the same. You can just drag and drop. Uh, wait, let me just get one. Uh, there you go. So you can just drag and drop, and then change them, and boom, it changes, and then apply changes. Okay, so that's really easy. I just want to point out where to get them, where to get the best ones, and yeah, uh, yeah, definitely go check out the links. I'll put a lot of links in the description to find uh, your icons. And if you have any questions, yeah, just comment down below. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, the wallpaper you're probably gonna ask that too. Uh, was made by somebody on Deviant Arts. Um, I'll put this link of uh, Deviant Art uh, in the description as well. So yeah definitely go check him out as well so all the credits for this wallpaper goes to him he didn't ask me to give him a shout out at all but i just wanted to point it out so yeah thanks for watching be sure to subscribe comment rate five stars and yeah thanks for watching peace